Calvin Jones here, Park Tool Company with Tech Tuesday. The next stop in our springtime tech tune-up series is stopping, or as importantly, slowing. A simple quick check of our brakes is to take the lever, pull until you feel the pads contact the rim. From this point, pull hard. Here, I cannot contact the grip. This brake is adequately set in terms of tightness. This side, I pull until I feel contact, then I pull with force from here, I can contact the grip. This brake, not appropriately set. Another important aspect of our braking performance and safety is the pad material. This brake pad looks like it's hardly been used, but in fact it should have been replaced long ago. The reason? It's so old now, it is hard as a rock. I can feel that, but we can show you easier over on the workbench. This is the pad we took off the bike. While there's plenty of pad material, it has become so hard with age as to become ineffective. I can scrape it with a screwdriver, it sounds brittle. I push, it feels brittle. Let's compare it now to some newer material. This is a brake pad from a road dual pivot, fairly new. Here I scrape across it, it's fairly quiet, it feels smoother. I can push, push, and I feel some give in the material. You can even do this with your thumbnail and feel the same thing. Pad material also matters in disc brakes, but disc brake material is always hard. Here, it's the amount of material that matters. This is a new pad. This is a pad that's had just too much fun. Manufacturers will give minimum thicknesses that they want to see. If in doubt, pull the pads and measure them. See you next week on Tech Tuesday.